Hello guys, Mazako here. I'm a little sick right now. Um, first off, don't let the title fool you. Um, the, this episode, to me personally, wasn't bad at all. I really enjoyed the episode this week. Um, you know, despite it being filler. But um, man, I sound like John Laurinaitis from <laughs> Monday Night Raw. Hell <laughs> no, like John Cena. Tonight you have a match with the Big Show. <laughs> big show, you're fired. Okay, but um Naruto should put an episode, I believe it was um fuck probably four fifty, four fifty, but I don't fucking know. Um basically reason why the title is what it is, is basically that the nerve of these fucking writers, the nerve for the people at Perry Studios and the nerve of the people at the channel relations. Tele relations. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, but the John Lord Knight is jokes. Tele relations. <laughs> basically, excuse me, basically what they did was, um, they did, I already uh, broke down how they did a reenactment of how Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura de defeated Kaguya. For those who do read the manga, um, the whole, you know, Naruto on the left side is going to write and Sakura coming down the middle. They already teased that. It was already kind of a spoiler for people who didn't see it. The shock factor, you know, kind of lessons from it. But it shows that Perry Studio, they have read the manga and they do know what's going on in the manga. And they do know the manga's been over for over a damn year. And they choose to still... To just fuck us over and then tease us and rub it in our faces. That hey, we're gonna imitate it. We're gonna create this entire parody, but we're not gonna fucking do the real thing. Fuck you. That's all we're getting from this fucking studio as of now. And due to the fact that you know the whole Sasuke talking about revolution thing comes from the manga as well, and the way the fight even ended, and then how Naruto went to grandma mode Sasuke with the uh. I believe the Black Frames arrow, you know, symbolizing Endurance arrow in Naruto. Doing like a Tubby's bomb, you know, symbolizing that sage art with Russian Shurik and shit. That clash. And even the explosion. Everything was kind of symmetry, but a much lesser version. So not really symmetry at all, but an imitation of in the very false one with shitty animation one at that. And that's a slap in the face. It's disrespectful to the fans of Naruto, to the casual fans, to the manga readers. That is fucking disrespectful. And it's very disrespectful for the people who didn't even read the fucking manga yet. Basically already got spoiled on how this match is going to play out when it does happen. You know what I mean? This is fucked up. You don't do that to people who fucking... Spinning it. I'm sorry. I can't even talk fast. People spending their time. Watching your product, you're getting paid for it. You're getting paid to write down bullshit right now. And I believe it's just unfair. They take advantage of the fan base that they get, little fan base that they have left. Look, there's not a lot of fans that like the show anymore. I don't like the show anymore because, you no, know, damn near, excuse me, over 300 episodes are filler. It ruined the fun for me. Naruto would never be a top 10 anime for me. By the way, no, a quick message, um... I'm going to have um, top 10 Uzumaki, top 10 Asuki, Asasuke, all forms, a top 10 favorite Naruto characters list. All coming to you guys with, between Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and possibly Monday. You know, if it does stretch that long, I'm trying to get it you know, all done by maybe Sunday and Saturday if I get lucky. So, you no, know, you guys look forward to that. Of course, I'm going to you know, weekly check my super reviews. I got to get back on the One Punch Man comic uh, strip. Uh, I just finished a couple of more projects in school, so I do got a little bit more free time now. So hopefully I can catch on you know, Tokyo Gold, you know, get some new updates on the National Times side, and maybe dish out more reviews, because I've been on, like, a monthly hi hiatus with that damn manga, and I apologize for that. But this episode, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. The episode was really good. The music, the score in this episode was fucking beautiful. The ending of Naruto Sasuke when they fought, how they went for that last final punch. Kind of reminded me of Goats in the Trunks from uh, Dragon Ball, to be honest with you. But I know a lot of animes already do that. And I really did appreciate that. And then that was pretty good. The episode was really good to me. I gave it 8 out of 10. Only problem is, you know, it's filler. 
And then they dick tease us again when we go on to the preview discussion. I said preview discussion. The preview. So sorry. I'm sorry. The preview of the next episode where we see like some canon material, right? And then we see like Sasuke. I'm mean, excuse me, Itachi. It's like so they're gonna show half canon then show this Itachi story shit. Is it gonna be like a transition back and forth or so arcade? I mean, cool, I guess. I'm not ready to see straight candy, but we already knew this Itachi thing was coming since damn near 2015 when it was teased. But, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, hopefully this Itachi thing only lasts maybe three, four episodes. I heard it's going to last six episodes, six weeks. I just want to get back to the candy material. I mean... Hmm. I'm so sorry, man. I would like to talk a lot longer, but my throat feels like it's about to fucking bleed. Overall, I said episode 8 out of 10. I really liked it. Um, and the only thing I didn't really like is how the first part of Naruto and Sasuke's fight, it was basically, they were talking about like a puppy in a river and shit. That was kind of just some free shit. And I didn't free appreciate in the beginning of the episode where Naruto was twerking at me. I ain't, I ain't fuck with that at all. But my Sakura here, thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I gotta go get my ass to bed before I fucking die, man. Thank you guys, man. Throwing out some videos for y'all tomorrow. Hopefully, y'all can get forward. Routine these next 48 hours. I mean, the boy over here working, working hard for his fans. Y'all got a thank you message video coming up pretty soon. I got also make a video about how this copyright thing is kind of weighing me down. Because, you know, I got some shit I got to get off my chest. But thank you guys for staying with me. Masaku, ah, I love you people, man.